What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today it is me, Caleb, and I'm back with some friends. So uh, these these are my boys. This is SD Gaming Studio. He's a friend. You might have seen him from earlier. Uh, he helped me with my 4GT review video. This guy here, he's needs a channel. His name is uh, Gabriel, my master. Uh, I met him recently. He wanted to participate. So now we are going to start. So I'm just gonna tell them I'm going to go to the drag race. And, uh, okay, so basically today's challenge, by the way, is what I call Japan versus America versus Germany. So, um, right now, basically what we're going to do is we're going to do several races. We're going to do a drag race, a uh, street race, and I'll explain what that is later. Like, it's not like the street race, it's like a street race I'm making up, and then I cross country. So, uh, yeah, we just chose from a selection of cars that we have. Um, I don't know how much that Porsche would be priced, but we tried to all go in similar price ranges. I think mine's the cheapest. I also did have the uh, Nissan Skyline, but that car is just not that good. So, sorry if you guys are disappointed that I didn't use that as a Japanese car. But, uh, um, okay, so, yeah, I'll be back when we get started with the race. Okay, guys, so, uh, right now, uh, these are the boys. I mean, okay, yeah, these guys are gonna get started with their race. So, um, I'm probably gonna, you know, just come here, stand, and just watch them. Dude, this is, this is so, uh, weird. Like, no one parks their car, but, like, you know, just wanna get a better standpoint. So, we're gonna be able to see the launch and the finish, or the finish of that white line, where it's separate. Okay, so let's see, who has the better launch here? So, 3, 2, 1, they should drop. And the Corvette just has a better launch right off the line. Look at that car, like, look at how quickly it goes. And the Porsche does not have enough time to catch up, so, uh, looks like the Corvette has won that race. Alright guys, so I have now a Nissan Skyline DTR. Uh, I decided, you know, I don't actually just... Like, if you're gonna go Japan, you just can't use the Super. Like, the, the Super just doesn't have that lap, like, we have to use the Skyline. Because, you know, this 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 is just the ultimate Japanese car, like, it's just, it just, I mean, in my opinion, I mean, I don't know super well, like, I just think the classic cars fit better to, like, to get to, uh, play for Japan, I mean, this car is kind of terrible, to be honest, but, I mean, like, it's literally better than super in most ways, so, yeah, let's actually see how well this car does, how, how well will this car service, and it looks like, uh, yeah, definitely, we are the slowest of the bunch in the drag racing, but, uh, I mean, we'll have to decide, about which car is the best on the street race or the cross country. I'll be back when we get that done. Okay, boys. So now we're going to be doing a street race, basically towards the end of the road. And uh, I mean, this is kind of, sort of like a prolong. This is going to be like a bit of acceleration. I just don't want to do street races. I just find that race a bit too boring. And I'm just all honesty, I want to do something unique. So we're about to start. Um, when I get to, to the fourth honk. They're gonna start. And, uh, I don't know, terrible launches. I don't know if that's actually their launch or if that's just their reaction. So far, I'm actually taking the lead, and yeah, I'm not even staying a chance, man. They're v tech. Bruh, how? How is the Skyman losing to the Corvette? No! Dude, this is just top tier bullying right now. How am I losing? How am I losing to the Corvette? Like, I mean, I don't understand. I tried, I tried to have a higher cost speed than the Corvette. You know, it's. Just, yeah, Japanese car is just kind of failing. I thought this was all about reset, but uh, seems like the American car is beating me. All right, boys. So now we've made our way to the cross country race. This will determine. Actually, technically the Corvette is one with two points, but you know, let's just let's just see who will win this. Which which car will have the superior handling or just the driving skill in general? So right now, actually, seems like the Porsche is drooping behind with poor acceleration. It's really. Probably high under here, I can't really tell. And that car is supposed to be a track tool, to be honest, made for the track. But it seems like it's actually drooping below, or drooping behind in this specific race. And uh, so far, the Corvette is actually taking the lead. It just seems to be a lot more superior than the car. I noticed the checkpoints are green now, and I take that corner nice and clean, but while our boy in the Porsche takes it really deep, the Corvette just takes it normally, not really perfect. So right now, he's just going in. And he's definitely pulling away right now with his high top speed. And the Porsche, that's that. So that's the Porsche right there in the distance. You can't see it. He is far behind us right now. And will the Corvette take this turn deep? And he does take it deep, boys. This is our chance of redemption. 
I do not have to break in this specific corner, able to take in the W. And so far, the Corvette trolls behind, I'm pretty sure that guy is going to catch. Oh, and the Porsche is taking second place. I think that guy was out of the race, to be honest. So right now, I don't even have to break in this corner. I think it's just because I, I'm just going at 130 miles per hour. This car just doesn't seem to need to break like those guys do. Like, look at this. They're just taking it plain out wide right there. So uh, right now, I'm seeming to actually have the better race right now. Better handling, better suspension. You know, low suspension made for handling. So it seems like the GTR might just be the better handling car. Or we just have the driving skill. You know, I'm, I'm kind of accusing handling because, like, literally, I'm not that good of a driver. So, yeah, let's uh, let's see how well this is turning out. So far, the uh, yellow skyline is in first place. The oh my god, are you serious? Are you serious? No, don't do this to me. No, 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 no. Oh man, I lost. Alright guys, so I've redeemed some redemption. I've been able to overtake the Porsche so far. I saved myself from that situation, but I don't know. I think the Corvette is gonna go for a clean sweep, boys. Like, I mean, like, if I just had not looked back, I'm pretty sure I would've been perfectly fine. I looked back, did not pay attention to the road, and completely messed up, and, you know, you did not want to go down a whole side, because, like, oh, oh, no, oh, dude, the Corvette is right here, guys! Guys, you might actually have a chance at winning, man. I took the corner, uh, I mean, that corner is a little too much of my braking. I took it too, you know, too shallow, actually. I don't know. And I actually outdo the Corvette, taking it on the inside. The Corvette, no, 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 okay. He has the toss speed in this specific race. So far, it looks like everyone is messed up. I'm in second, what? Why does it say I'm in truth? I'm in second place right now, I believe. Right behind the Corvette, the Porsche. I have no idea where that guy is. I think he lost control completely or something. So far, it is going to be a very close race between the Corvette and the Skyline, GTR, RG4. So, okay, he actually, I don't even know if he's breaking right now. Oh, gosh. Oh, man, no. Dude, I, I don't know if I can actually win this. He might be able to take a dub just because he's got faster car. Um... Oh, gosh. I mean, I'm not going to break in this specific corner. What I like to do is just run right into the wall. And uh, there I go. Oh! He made another mistake, guys! He made another mistake! Oh, God! No! No! He needs to mess up again. He needs to mess up again. If he does not mess up again, I'm going to be so sad. No! 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 Don't do this to me! Yes! 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 God! 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 Let's go! Yes! Yes, sir! He just got the dumb and needs a car for water race! Water race! Water race! Alright boys, so we are back and uh, it's actually been half an hour, so it's uh, so um, yeah, so I don't know, we've just been trying to sort out something and we decided we we're gonna do another challenge and this challenge is actually kind of taking a long time to get done. So basically you know how we have all these cars, right? The uh, This car, his Cayman, and this Corvette. Basically, the thing about these cars is that all of them I've seen all of them the police sirens. Like I think they're all noticeably considered police cars. In some games, I, I know there's a police car somewhere. I don't remember exactly what game. I've seen it. There's a police came in in vehicle simulator and for Need for Speed. There's also a police Corvette in Need for Speed. And I know there's another game. Yeah, Liberty County. So there are tons of games with these cars, police cars. I mean, so basically, all the criminals will have to use Camaro. You have to use your home color, so mine's is yellow because I chose that. He has to use black and he has to use red. Basically, what we're doing is you have to stay in the city, you have to stay in the road if you're a criminal, and if you go off road or below 10 miles per hour, you're you're busted basically. Or if he touches you, you're busted. And uh, therefore, yeah, so that's kind of what we're gonna do. And we don't want to make this challenge too long and lengthy. We just want to make this a little bit more easy. Basically. Um, we're gonna start. So, okay. I'm good to tell them when I. Yeah, well, I get three, two, one. Let's go, boys. And the Corvette is left behind. Okay, we're gonna be back when we restart. As I also forgot to mention that, uh, basically. Oh gosh! Oh god! Oh god! Oh gosh! Dude! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, so... Basically, he has three minutes and his time is about to end. I forgot to mention that. So, uh, so far... Oh gosh, dude, the Corvette is coming! He's coming! Oh no, 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 Oh, okay, he takes it way too deep. And this guy, this is... I, I don't know if it's his car or it's him. He doesn't know how to turn. And approximately in five seconds, 
is about to end five. Four. I mean, actually, you know what? My team's loud in my time. And that's it. Alright, guys. So we are off. And I don't know why he's in his perk. Um, I need to inform this dude that he needs to be in his Cayman. So, uh, so far, we're going to see how long this guy takes to catch Photo Bus. Dude, why is he in his Lamborghini? I don't understand. I thought I just. Yeah. Um. Oh gosh. And he's definitely not gonna get out of front of me. You know what? Imagine I actually be in this guy. And right now, let's just actually see what happens if we just follow him. I'm just gonna follow the red Camaro. But yeah, we're probably gonna still. I mean, you have to stay 10 miles per hour, but if it clocks, like. Like, I mean, like, if you don't. If you try to hide, you can't. So, right? That's kind of like what I mean. Alright, so like, um, I can't really find that many places. Okay, there's the Purple Monte. He is completely lost, I guess. I don't know what he's doing right now, to be honest. I've seen the Camaro the ST, and this is gonna take a while. I'll be back into the cool Alright, guys, so we are back, and I'm just gonna honk. And they're gonna go one, two. And now I'm off. I think I should have gone a bit earlier in the game. So, who am I going to target? You might ask. Definitely the Red Camaro. And what are they doing? Okay, okay. Oh no, dude! How did I mess up? How did I mess up? And... Out. Okay, I think I just won. I just, I just got him right there. Yeah, I did. Okay, now I'll have to find the other guy. So, um, we need to find out where Gabriel is, so I have no idea, just to be honest. I'm suspecting somewhere here in the city. You know, you can't just be too open, you gotta be looking around. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I don't know, man, I, you can look at my screen for proof, I literally went right inside your car, I don't know how it didn't show that way in your screen, to be honest. But okay, and, uh... To find that guy, I'm gonna look behind me because SC strategy. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go, guys. You know he just caught right you, so I'm allowed to corner cut if I wanted to. I have to be really careful. Like, these guys like to juke people out. I mean, I mean the Camaros are such a good car for juking, and I'm already gaining on him, taking the corners on the inside, sticking them way too deep. And I know he's gonna do or pull off some sort of trick. And uh, I got both of them. I actually did good. I actually beat both of them. It was only one minute and 32. Wow, that's amazing. All in one minute. It took them two minutes just to get one guy, so I'm, I'm pretty surprised. So yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm probably going to go to my final overview now. So now this is the final overview of our video today. So this is, uh, this is going to be, which out of all these cards is the best? Um, Germany, Japan, and America. So, to be honest, I would give this challenge today to America, the Corvette, just because of these reasons. So even though it was technically 2-2, two to two, the Corvette just seems to have a lot more better performance. I don't know about the steering, uh, I guess the Skyline here just has a lot more better handling, it's got a little suspension, it's kind of made for drifting, but still seems really well, like, it's kind of bolted the way for a trip on the track like you can see the wing of that the Cayman on the other hand though I'm just gonna talk about this guy so this car is practically I mean it's free so it doesn't even matter you can just put in the code you can check out my code video if you want to see those codes but uh basically the Cayman I just say this car is uh, is this car better than any of these other cars definitely not I mean it has a high top speed and all but like in performance and our challenges today it just seemed to be outclassed in almost every way on top speed and it's top speed did not even manage to like actually show up like on our street race the corvette beat it without a doubt like it did of course didn't even have that much time to catch up so this doesn't accelerate fast enough the skyline i would say um basically this car is a pretty cool car i mean i love how it looks it's not gonna be the best in the performance it does have decent handling its speed acceleration it says it's really bad but it's pretty good acceleration Top speed, it's just average, like the same as the Corvette. So, out of all these cars, like I said, I give it to the Corvette. Just the better car overall, the better all rounder. I think, yeah, actually, out of all these cars, what car do you like the looks of? They're all beautiful cars. Like, I mean, 
Normally I would have gone for the Skyline, but like, I didn't realize all these cars look super sweet. Like, in the Corvette, it looks a bit more first. I mean, I don't know why. I just like the Porsche and the Skyline. I think the Corvette looks nice as well. Yeah, comment down below what car you enjoyed the most. Thanks for watching on today's video, guys, and I'll see you when- I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Alright guys, so I'm back again, and I just want to put a quick disclaimer out there, so if this video gets at least 5 likes, I will make another video with these boys.